الصوارم كي تسترد المظالم حتى الأراضي نسام راسه. So you've uh, come on the record as saying that you want to go to war with Muslim people. What do you mean by that? I didn't say I want to go to war, but I uh, am quoting the Norwegian. Um, uh, it's the um, leader of the. the Why are you stuttering for? Because, Why are you I'm, for? because I'm talking English. I, we don't normally do that in Norway. What do you mean by uh, you want to go I to war? With quote, the people? I, I, didn't, I never said that I want to go to war. I say that we have to defend our. Um, our uh, country, okay. our yeah. values, yeah. and our people, yeah. if, from what? if necessary, with yeah. weapons. Hey you! Are you watching my videos again? Pause that and do something for your Akhirah first. Islamnet is establishing a Scandinavian mega mosque and da'wah center in Oslo, the fastest growing city in Europe. Do you want to share on that reward? Click the link below and donate now. How do you mean by defend? Give us some more details. What do you want to do with the Muslim people here? I want to defend uh, our values and our people and you our country. You said on the record. Just like, yes, that's what I said. You said that you want the Muslims out of your country, right? Uh, I say that uh, we need to deport everyone who wants to, to implement Mohammed's Islam, the political doctrines in Norway. No one wants to do that here. I don't uh, think uh, there is not a faction of Muslims. Uh, most of the that. Muslims want to do that, but it's not uh, what, relevant. What, what, what it's not, you, what, it's what not evidence, relevant. What, evidence, whether, what uh, evidence you have that most of the Muslims in this country want to implement Sharia law? We, for example, we have the the Kupmans, um, um he, uh, he, um, no, 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 you're not making any sense. You're not making any sense. I'm making any sense. You, well, you haven't heard about Ruud Koopmans? No. That's I'm asking because you, what you, study, you don't, you don't what care about uh, what facts. Study, what study uh, do you Ruud have Koopmans, that indicates uh, study that? In the, it tells that 65% uh, of the Muslims want to do this. I believe it maybe... Implement it, implement uh, some, it on a, on a nationwide level. But, yes, but it's not, it's not, yeah, uh, imp yeah. it's not important. The I main issue is, is not whether it's yeah, not yeah. whether yeah, yeah. Um, 65 or 50 or 80 percent want to do okay, this. Okay. Uh, the the, the, the um, yeah. main topic is yeah. Islam commands every Muslim yeah. to take part in okay. the jihad uh, against okay. uh, us. So okay. whether it's Islam. only 50 percent who wants it, that doesn't matter because all Muslims. Are you just going to talk? Uh, yes, because you are okay. also so a are question. You, so it's not a conversation. Are you scared it, of this is a conversation. You uh, ask a question, yeah, yeah. I answer fine, because fine. you. Let want me ask you a you, question. Yeah. My question is: You said Islam states. What are the five pillars of Islam, and what are the six pillars of Iman? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So no, you're talking on behalf of religion. The pillars. You don't the pillars are. Um, yes, yeah. it, it's. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. For Muslims, what yeah. you have to do in order to be a good Muslim, and, and uh, besides the pillars, the, pillars the most important. What are the six uh, pillars of faith in the Islamic creed? The most important um, uh, to What's decide the whether a person of, is... What are the six pillars of faith according to the Islamic creed? I don't care. You don't care? Uh, uh, I don't care what so, so the you, Muslims do so you, okay. inside right. Islam. Don't be afraid of what the response. Do, what do don't you, be afraid of my response. I'm saying to you now that you are claiming to know about the religion of Islam, which is a religion followed by, according to Pew, more than 1.8 billion people. That's not I'm, relevant. Excuse me. Let me just finish my, my comment. Yeah. comment. I'm saying that you claim to know what Islam as a religion said. You're not a theologian. I ask you a very basic question that any child in yeah. any madrasa yeah. would know. Yeah. Excuse me. I ask you what is the six pillars of Islamic creed and you couldn't even offer me an answer and now you're going into hadith and what the Quran says. Mm. This is way above your pay grade. Why do you think you as an unqualified, uncredentialed uh, person that's seeking job seekers allowance or whatever you're doing as a jobless man have the right to speak about Islam? Whether I work or whether I ever have okay, worked, so it's not so relevant. So why do you think you're credible to talk about the religion of Islam? Because Islam and is... And you don't know the basics? I know the basics. What are the six pillars of creed? Islam is so easy that a desert Arab understands it. Okay, so what you are the six pillars of creed? You can be illiterate and understand so Islam. So you say you understand it, but you don't know what the six pillars of creed are, which is I something... I understand it because I've, I, I've read how uh, yeah. the seerah, I know what you kind read. of persons the, this yeah. uh, Mohammed guy yeah. uh, was. What? But, you, but I'm saying that you've read it so much that you don't even know the basics. Okay, Mohammed, you know him so well. Yeah, you read the seerah. What's his name? What's his full name? Let's say we have a. What's his name? Let's say we have an, uh, an ideology called Nazism here. 
and Which is and, and, you, and you come and ask, what's the name of the guy who invented it? Oh, Adolf Hitler. Uh, is that relevant? I, I, yes, is it is relevant. That... Yes, it is relevant. If yeah, I'm claiming no. to be an okay. expert, if I'm speaking on behalf of Nazism, and I don't know the name of Adolf Hitler, both first name and surname, I'd be an ignoramus. I'm asking you now, you're saying that I've read the Sira, which is the biography of the Prophet. I'm asking you, what is the man's name? And you can't even Listen. tell me his surname? I don't care. You don't care? Well, you don't know, maybe. But you said you know about all the verses in the Quran which talks no. about fighting. Uh, so it's selective uh, knowledge, uh, isn't no, it? It's, it's cherry picked knowledge. Bullshit. And, and oh, what you uh, travel this far to, to do is to distract the, the discussion from the I can assure the you, I, I've come here for other purposes. Are, I've not come here for you. Uh, fine, good. You, um, okay, can I ask you a topic, question? You yeah, are yeah. distracting There's this no, discussion my from friend, the topics actually, that I, are I relevant the for non-Muslims. I'm asking you a question. You said that Islam states the X, Y, and Z. The topic for okay. non-Muslims okay. is... Right. Yeah, yeah. Is, Islam no able to, you, is Islam able to build no problem. Uh, societies so let, uh, fine, where non-Muslims no and Muslims no can live Lush, um, Lush. in equality I've, I've heard. and peace? I've heard what you've said. Let me reply to what you've said. Let's just summarize where we are so far. I asked you what you meant by war. You said defense. That's what you said. You said, I want to go to all the Muslims. You said, they're defending ourselves by using, okay, no problem. We'll come back to that. Then we asked you some questions, some trivial questions. We asked you, what are the six pillars of Islamic creed? You had no answer. What is the, you said, I've read the it's seerah. It's not relevant. I don't know. You're, you're, I'm, I'm you're just still pushing I'm this just, bullshit. I'm just summarizing. You are a bullshit generator. Yeah. You don't dare to talk about this I'm crappy com religion. I'm, I'm coming to you. I'll come to you. Yeah. But I'm just summarizing where we are. That's all I'm doing. You don't have to get triggered and get upset and shake and all this things and talk, swear words in front of children, in front of young people. There's a child behind you. Why are you swearing in front of the child? Huh? Oh. No, I'm asking a question. No, honestly. How am I supposed to know it's a child behind you? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Look, yeah. look. It's no. a bullshit. You're okay. talking bullshit. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah. No problem. We, no, it's, it, it's a problem. No, no it problem. is a problem. You could no, come here one, honestly one. discussing number one. what kind of, one. of, of countries okay. oh, yeah, Islam yeah. creates. Okay, no problem. And we'll what come happens to, to the non Muslims well, in a state large, that's being large, occupied large. by Muslims? Are we going to speak? That's relevant. Are you afraid for me to speak and engage with you? <laughs> I'm saying to you this number one, we've established you don't know what the six pillars of Islamic creed are, the five pillars of Islamic faith are. It's we've established, irrelevant. Oh, irrelevant. No problem. Now, no you want to nag about irrelevant topics because you're afraid. We have, we have established that you said that you you said that you know what Muhammad was, but then you haven't even known what the full man's name is. Now let me ask you a question. You state that Islam is a religion. Can, can, I, can, can we continue? Yeah, no problem. Now I'm asking a question. You said that Islam is a religion which is incapable of peace. Is that your claim? It's uh, not a religion in the normal sense of the word. It's uh, yeah. basically yeah. A, a complete system for governing societies. Okay, fine. And it's yeah. an ideology. Fine, these, all right. no Both problem. these are claims made by the Muslim scholars. Okay. No problem. So, yeah, th yeah, that's a big problem. No, no, it's okay. That's no. the that's okay. A core problem. When I say no yeah. problem, I'm saying okay. I'm saying okay, yeah. we, we, we'll proceed in the conversation. That's yeah, what fine. I mean by it. I yeah. don't mean it in a literalistic sense. But let's continue. Now, I'm asking a question. What exactly are you referring to? When you say that, it's, what is your, put it this way, what is your strongest argument against the validity of Islam? Go ahead. Against? Islam, against why Islam is a true religion, why it's valid, why it's, so what's, what's your strongest argument? Why has the cat got your uh, tongue here? I'm asking him a simple question. He's here to tell me why Islam is wrong. I don't know why. Yeah, uh, you, tell me uh, one, give me your argument. Uh, uh, I'm waiting for you. Uh, you, you have uh, uh, okay, uh, so you need uh, her to you, help you, you and raise a book. Whether and the other man to help us, or maybe the child will help us. Repeat, it's a valid, whether it's a valid religion, is that what you ask? Why is Islam wrong? You've come here to tell yeah. me, you talk about Islam every week, don't you? Yeah? yeah? Okay, now I'm giving you an opportunity, I'm yeah. right here in front of okay. you, okay? okay. No, Why I, is Islam wrong? Yeah, we've understand. already established you're an ignoramus, we don't know anything about Islam, but I'm just going to give you the benefit of the doubt, as an unqualified, uncredible, deliberately ignorant person, as you are, I'm asking Thank the question, you. what is your strongest argument, why is Islam wrong? Muhammad is the strongest argument. That's not, a, that's not an argument, it's a man. Go ahead. Yeah, it's, it's an argument because... I don't know what you... Wait, there the word argument means in English are, language? There are... Oh, nine, there are... Are you swearing now? There are 91 Shut verses... You have to. There are 91 verses in the Quran that commands the Muslims to imitate the behavior of Muhammad. Okay. That's why uh, if, yeah. uh, if, if you copy his behavior, you're a good Muslim. And, okay. and Muhammad also said that himself. Okay, uh, so I don't see how that's a strong yeah. argument against yeah. why Islam is wrong. Yeah. I've just asked you a question. You said you have to imitate Muhammad and that's how you're a Muslim. If so what? Islam had so been, what? If Islam had yeah. been yeah. Um, 
uh, and re religion, a spiritual uh, relationship between a person and a god, it would have, it wouldn't be a problem because uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the, the okay, problem. So, so Islam, what's your strongest it's, argument? It's, why Islam the, the, is wrong? The strongest why is, argument yeah, is that yeah. Islam is not a religion; it's a political doctrine. It's uh, so military let's, let's doctrine. So let's go with for the sake of argument. It's military for the doctrines. Say, for sake of argument. Yeah. Let's say that let's say Islam has political doctrines and military doctrines. Why is that wrong? Go ahead. It's wrong because yeah, Islam yeah, yeah. Why? cannot co yeah. coexist with other systems of governing societies because uh, Islam, so, so, is, Islam um, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, wants to Very dominate. Clever. Islam does not accept. That's extremely clever. Uh, it's not, Islam does not accept. Powerful to, argument. To, uh, yeah, it's powerful. Powerful argument. Uh, yeah, and, and you, you can, uh, you can wow. tell by you can tell by um, by uh, observing the states that has been invaded and occupied by Islam, okay. more than 50 states. Powerful and argument. you can see Powerful all argument. these Very states strong. are shitholes okay. because yeah. of Islam. Okay. Countries that used to be a nice place to live has become shitholes because of Islam. Okay. And the Muslims behaving Islamic. So that's why so that's we, we don't want that. So let's, let, let's, we don't want that to happen so to our country. And that is why your, your, we what is, will deport summarize your anyone. Argument. What's your argument? Your argument is that Islam is wrong because it has military and political doctrines? Yeah. So, okay, so, so, oh, sorry, sorry. So, in that case, liberalism is wrong because it's a political doctrine. It is not a religion. No, but it's a political doctrine. That's what you just said. Yeah, but Islam claims to be a religion. Whether it claims to be a religion and, and, or not. And liber How do you liberalism, liberalism, How do you define religion? It's liberal. How do you define liberalism, religion? Uh, How do you define religion? I can't understand. Don't interrupt, she said. Um, and, How do you but, define religion? That, it's something, uh, ah, something uh, yeah. I, I observe. Yes, observe quite, it. Yeah. Quite, quite often with your Muslims. Oh yes. Yeah. So, so you do observe it with us. Yeah. I thought you said we don't uh, follow a religion. We follow when a I try to talk to a Muslim, he he. Uh, okay. Kind of behaves like a caveman. Okay. He's not able to communicate in a civilized way. Okay. Uh, now, and uh, now, that goes thank for you. you too. That's an ad hominem. Yeah. It's an ad hominem fallacy. Do you know what that is? Well. No, I don't. Okay, it's an ad hominem. You're attacking the man, not the argument. I'm no, saying to you right I'm, now. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm trying yeah. to point out that yeah. you are yeah. not very good at uh, debating. Oh, really? Be uh, no, oh, okay. oh, because, you, because you don't uh, uh, accept. Well, okay, when you how, ask, is this, how is this relevant well, to what we're talking about? I'm asking a question, right? Why is Islam wrong? You said because it's a political and military doctrine. Yeah. Okay, now yeah. I want to know and, why that makes and, it wrong. And as I said, you try to, to, to drag in liberalism. Why does that make it wrong? And the liberalism. Accepts all kind philosophy. of uh, all, all kind of um, but liberalism. Political, uh, liberalism is a political philosophy which yeah. has military implications. Correct? And it's liberal. And yeah. It's liberal. No. And Islam is well, liberal. Just, you, yeah. and so, Islam so is liberal. Some Islam is illiberal. Islam is it's liberal. The, the, the most. Uh, it, it doesn't accept any other uh, political um, um, socialism. Uh, whatever, it, 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 uh, you know what happened in Iran, in Lebanon, when, when the Muslims... No, no I, uh, I want you to make your point. You're, you're, you're jumping from point to example. I want you to finish your point. What is your point? That Islam is incapable of uh, having people within Islam it? Islam is, is, is a political tool yeah, yeah. to implement Sharia okay. in a whole planet. Okay. That's what uh, so, the Allah guy said. Okay, no, hold on. And that's hold what on, the Muhammad on. guy said. Okay, so what? And we have to, no, let's go we with have that. to so believe what? this. So, we so have what? To, we, we have to Why does that make it wrong? What? Why does that make it wrong? Why that is wrong? Yeah, why is yeah. that wrong? Yeah. We don't want Islam to destroy our country because we have a quite nice place here. Oh, okay, and okay. we uh, so, observe so what happens do, do you know to what all I find? Do you know what I find? I've let you speak, yeah? Now, can you let me respond? Because you talk about cavemen. I don't want you to be a caveman, yeah? Okay, so you're, you're the civilized white man and I'm the caveman. But let me just, let me, indulge me for a second here. Indulge yeah. me, indulge me. Let me say this. Isn't it interesting that this man is talking about Islam as being incapable of tolerance, yet his very prescription is incapable of tolerance itself. In other words, his prescription of deporting Muslims is exactly intolerance. So he's, he doesn't like Islam because of his alleged claim that it's intolerant, yet his own prescriptions are intolerant in nature. So I don't understand. If you don't like Islam I because of its intolerance, no, no, yeah. uh, if you don't like Islam because of its alleged intolerance, why is your proposal, your political or social proposal to deport Muslims, which is clearly a restriction of free speech, which is clearly a restriction of movement, why would that be the prescription that you choose as a so-called bastion of liberalism? Go ahead. I choose it, uh, I choose it because we, we have in Europe and um, in, a, in a, the UN, except uh, the Islamic states, uh, something called uh, the human rights. Okay. And, uh, universal um, the UN Universal Human Rights, yeah, okay. they, which uh, Islamic countries does not follow. They 
Article 30. Which is factually correct. Article oh, 30 gives us. Keep going. Um, Says your schools, yeah. Uh, yeah. The opportunity to deport people who does not uh, want, want, want to give uh, the um, other people uh, the human rights. So Islam. No, it doesn't. Is, Islam is. No, it doesn't. What you're yes, saying here is false. Wait, hold on. Yeah. You've just misrep you've just misrepresented the charter, the Human Rights Charter, 30 articles, which has been. If you know, it has been ratified in 1948, okay? And this charter doesn't say anything about what you've just said. Yes, 30, no, hold on. Let me, no, no, I've read it yeah. and I've studied it and I've taught it. So let me tell you, as someone who's qualified on the matter with degrees from Western universities, yes, unlike yourself. So let me just tell you this point. As a person who has a pol politics degree, one of four or five degrees that I've completed, I don't know how many you have completed, large, but let me tell you this. Actually, if you look at the charter, what you've just said is completely false. Actually, every citizen in a country, whatever country it may be, cannot have their citizens depri citizenship deprived. It's called deprivation of citizenship. You cannot have it removed unless and only unless clear evidence, clear evidence of some kind of you know, treachery has taken place at, that some countries in the European Union accept the, de the definition of. I'm saying here, you've just said something, you've misrepresented the Human Rights Charter you've, into saying that you think that on human rights, on liberalism, on this paradigm, that you can take away citizenship from a group of people, yes, because of their religion. That goes against not only human rights, hold on, that goes against not only the first and second and third article of the human rights, it goes against almost every constitution in the Western world. What are you talking about? Talking what are you talking about? Uh, the same principle is uh, also um, in the uh, European um, uh, Human what are you talking Rights about? Uh, Declaration, and uh, also in Norway. It's since, called the uh, European. 12, okay, 1250, so we had a, um, a law here uh, stating that if, if you don't want to give this uh, these human rights to others, you should not enjoy them yourself. So it, basically, Norway, I had. That's not had true. This, That's uh, what you're saying is mm. not true. If someone advocates, sorry, let me just let me explain it again because you don't understand how freedom of speech and expression works. So let me, the Muslim, who's the barbarian caveman, yes, me coming out of the seventh century. If you copy well, the no, no, prophet, no problem. Yes, I'm coming. Let me, the barbarian yes. caveman, yeah. Yeah. teach you about liberalism. Okay. Nowhere does it say that you can remove citizenship of a person because of their religion or because of their beliefs. It's only well, when they become a threat to the state. Yeah, yeah. Now, you haven't, oh, excuse me, it's only when you become a credible threat to the state, which is analyzed by the security personnel in the country. It's a criminal matter. It's not a matter for an unqualified, uneducated, ultra crepidarian pusillanimous like yourself to come out and talk about. Do you understand that or not? I understand what you're saying, and it, I'm um, very glad that you, you acknowledge that we are, um, we have the, um, a bit, uh, are we are able to to remove people who um, uh, who doesn't uh, who want to destroy a society. Let him continue. Let him because, continue. Because um, let him continue. Your, 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 listen to me. You mentioned Adolf Hitler. You mentioned you, Nazism. Excuse me. Let me finish. Let me finish. You mentioned Adolf Hitler, and you mentioned Nazism. Your prescription is more in line with fascism and Nazism than it is with liberalism and human rights. There's no doubt about that because what you are saying is very, very similar. Excuse me, let me finish. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, let's finish. Let's finish. Calm down, calm down. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Okay, okay. Oh, if you need, you need his help. Do you need his help? Do you need his help? You need his help. That's you need his help. You need his help. The way you. Uh, is that caveman behavior? Is that caveman behavior, by the way? Is that caveman no, behavior? He's, inter he's inter interrupting. That's not good. No. Do you want to continue your cover? No. But um, I'll let you say what you want. I'm glad that you acknowledge our right to deport any Muslim who My copies, only copies he, he the he behavior of Muhammad. Rush, he interrupted good. me. That's let me good. let me let me say something. As I said, let me say something. I. No, I don't. No, I don't hate Jews. I like Jews. I, my, my friends are Jews. Yes, yes. I don't hate Jews. I love Jews. Yes, in fact. Now, moving on now. Since, you, since you've just said that now. And by the way, let me just tell you something about Jews. Let me answer this question. The Prophet Muhammad, that you've read his seerah, married a Jewish woman. Her name was Sophia yeah, bin Tawai. Yeah, number one, he, number one. He hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Father, yeah, he did. He killed but he married, not her himself, husband, but his general. But he married, he married, married a Jewish woman. Number one. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. In, the, in the Quran, which is a religious book which we follow that you said you've read, yes? The Prophet Moses has been mentioned no less than 138 times. That's not times. relevant. No, it's, it's relevant bullshit. because he was Jewish. You're bullshitting he was Jewish. again. No, I'm not. I'm speaking yeah, Jewish. Yeah, you're bullshitting. Listen, hold on. 
The Prophet Moses, you're talking about Jews. So what Jews, yeah? What? So, so are you gonna let me speak or is this are you afraid of the are you afraid of response? Are you afraid of response? Okay, you afraid can of you response? recite uh, Quran um, 564? What does it say? I can recite it but I won't because I won't indulge you in that. What well, does 564 say? I won't indulge about you in that. The Jews. Well, I Should won't I tell indulge them? you in that. Should I, I tell people you what the Quran I won't, I'm telling says? you now. Calm down. Calm down, calm down. It's just a break. I'm reminding you that when you are finished watching the video, huh? That you click the link below and donate now. What the Quran specifically says about Jewish people yeah. is that they were actually chosen people. It does say this actually. It affirms that narrative. Yeah. It says, oh, yeah. And it also so says he, that he has, has pigs. preferred the and also no, some of no, no, it doesn't say this. says doesn't say this. that not Jews or Christians the Jews are, it doesn't say are that. mischief makers. They commit facade. And therefore, according to 532 and 33, they shall be killed. Actually, Just 532. By, by actually, being, okay, do you know by what? Being, okay, let me, can I respond? Okay. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, stop, stop. Uh, so you just said, you, you just said, according to 532 and 533, it says that Jews are mischief makers. Let me recite for you. Ah, well, hold on. Let me recite. You asked me to recite. Yeah. I will recite from memory 532 and 533. Fine. Are you ready for it? And I'm gonna. And then, do you know what's interesting about this very verse? It's gonna humiliate him even worse. He will not. Excuse me. This is. I'm saying in Arabic and then translate in English. We have written upon the children of Israel. That whoever kills a person, listen, listen to me. This is what 532 says. He mentioned 532. Excuse me. Let me finish. I'm mentioning what he mentioned 532. I mentioned 532. Whoever kills a person, the Quran is saying this. Whoever kills a person for other than corruption in the land or for them killing themselves, then then it's like they've killed all of humankind. The Quran is saying that if you kill one person, it's like you killed everyone. And whoever saves a life, it's as if he saved all of the humankind. The very verse that you are trying to quote, misquote in my presence. How dare you? No, hold on, hold on. The very verse that you tried to misquote in my presence is actually a verse that tells you that if you kill one person, whether they are Muslim, Christian, Jewish, or any other thing, it's like you've killed all the human beings on the earth. And if you save one human being, it's like you've saved all the human beings on the earth. So you lied about the Quran, and anyone can fact check you, me now. Excuse me, anyone lying. can fact check me now. How many phones are here? Go ahead and go on your phone, go to chapter 5, go to verse number 32, and you will see what I've just said. Yeah. So are you going to apologize no, for misquoting the Quran? I'm going to clarify your lie. And your lie, it's a lie everyone is checking. Why are you going to talk? Uh, hey, hey. Be quiet, man. Get, get out of here, man. Please, get out of here, man. Please, 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 okay, please. oh yeah, yeah. He ran away. Yeah. He ran away. No, don't worry about him for a second. Just go ahead. Um, yeah. How are you going to apologize for misquoting the Quran in my presence? You are. And in front of the presence of the people who had no way of law. You are very good. Are you going to apologize hey, for ask, lying? May I answer now? Hey. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. You are a very good Muslim liar. Okay, get the Quran your, your out. Problem Anybody want uh, any disbeliever? I am oh, you get angry. Now. Yeah. You're getting angry, are you? Yeah. You're a caveman, uh, what, I think you are. What, yeah, oh, about barbaric like behavior. Caveman, yeah. But um, um, this verse. You're out of your depth, I, boy. I encourage anyone to look up this verse, and what you will see is killing someone because okay. this okay. person Excuse has. Excuse me, has are, you, are you Muslim? Uh, You're not Muslim, yeah? All right, can you go on the Quran, yeah. go Google, chapter 5, no, verse 32. You are Anybody do it and you can see. Can you, go ahead and you, do it. Fact check me now. Uh, yeah. Fact you do that. check and me when now. you fact check him, go ahead. you should. Anyone get the Quran? Can you shut up? Can you shut up? No, get it in English. Can you shut up? Get it because you don't, you, you won't allow me to finish because you I'll know. Tell you. you know you are a liar and you a liar. Would, okay. would not Let's like see if I'm a liar or not. Okay. I've quoted so it in the will Arabic. You please shut up and let me answer, okay? okay? When the Quran 532 He's says angry. whoever kills uh, unless for facade oh, wait, mischief read it. Can you read it? in the land, you read it, my mischief, friend. corruption you read it. in the land. You read it. Come here, please. Come here. What's your you name? Are, you are still Marcus, trying. thank you, my friend. You let, still, let him read it. He's not Muslim. Let him read it. Read it, please. You are so afraid read it, read it. of me let him read it. Let him read it. Because read the, it loud. the key, the key okay. word here is, 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 is it. shut up. Let you me do it. Show some respect. You are a guest in my country. No, you are a guest no, in my it's country. It's not your country. You're not. You're not anything. The key word here is facade. Yeah, say it in Norwegian. Say it in Norwegian. Google the word facade. 
Because okay. okay. Say it in whatever country, in Arabic, language you want. Go ahead and say it loud. The word for okay. therefore, go on. Means opposition against Islam. Let him say something. If you, let him say something. If you, I want to listen to this, please. Please, please. Yeah. Let him just say the verse. Yeah, yeah because this, this guy. Knows that the, 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 the key word here is facade, Lush. Arabic facade. Everyone, see. Let's Google see. facade don't be, don't be and find out that this verse, this verse actually, this verse actually allows killing of anyone who, anyone who opposes Islam, opposes political Islam, or for spreading mischief on earth, show be as if he had. Sail, slain all, making and all mankind. mankind. Yeah. And he who saves a life shall be as if he had given life to all mankind. So who was right and who was wrong? I was, was right. right. Then the mischief. Was he right? Yes or no? The corruption yes. in the land. Was he right? Yes or no? You know. Was he a liar? Was he a liar? Was he a liar? Yes or no? Facade is, uh, facade is the facade is the Was he a liar? To, to make you believe that... Uh, That's it. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. It's done. Mischief is... Um, Are we done here? Uh, now, now, let me just... I'll, I'll give you... I'm going to put the cherry on... Any kind of op political opposition against Islam is mischief. It's uh, corruption oh. in the oh, land. Okay. It's facade. Thank you for so your that exegesis gives of you, that verse. Thank you, yes. Um, yeah, the, gives obligation me the obligation to kill me oh, because... Yes, because, yeah. Because I uh, because you, op oppose yeah, political oppose. Islam. Okay. So how do you, how do you make sense? Verse, how do you make sense? This verse okay. is actually saying yeah. that uh, yeah, it's illegal to kill uh, okay. about 80% oh, of the planet. Oh, okay, um, I didn't read that when I read it, but anyway. Yeah, thank but you. it's yeah. facade. You know that. No, you're, no, no. you're not an idiot. You know this. No, but you're trying because, to lie to okay, the public. Okay, let me ask you a question. Public. Let me ask you a question. You read the seal yeah. of the Prophet, yeah? What? You read the biography of the Prophet Muhammad, yes? Ibn Ishaq. Yep. Ibn Ishaq. Okay, fantastic. Now he said, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, "Man qatala mu'ahadan." I'm sorry, I'll say it in English, but I'm saying in Arabic. Let me fa say in Arabic so that you can ch check it up. Give me a second. Are you Irish or are you Norwegian? I don't even know what kind of accent that is. I think she's attracted to me. How could she not be when she's hanging around this guy all day and then she sees some uh, six foot seven individual that comes from Norway and discopes the whole thing? Please stay there. Oh, I will. How do you explain? How do you explain? The prophets Muhammad saying, "Men qatala mu'ahadan, whoever kills a non-combatant disbeliever, lam yarih ra'ihat al jannah. He will not be. He will not smell the fragrance of heaven. How do you understand that? You can understand it by see, looking at the hadith that uh, when Muhammad was asked, well, uh, why, why do, why do? But how do you understand this hadith? How do you understand that one? You have to look at the hadith. No, no. How do you understand this hadith? That's my question. You have to look at the. How do you understand the, this hadith? The hadith. No, no, no. How do you understand this hadith? Muhammad said that. Um, yeah. When yeah. we attack this innocent little village at night. Okay. And how do you no, no. And one how do you of the warriors. How do you understand this hadith? How do you understand Please the hadith? Please respect me. I'm answering you. No, I want this hadith. You're going some other hadith. When, when, Why should oh, I respect okay, you? So, so the you, man who's burning you, up Quran you, you is saying, Please respect me. You are cherry picking. Can you imagine How this guy? You cherry picking. Please respect me. Don't you know that it's illegal to cherry pick? Burning the burning if no, you not. if you if no, you want to understand to one hadith, you have to look at uh, okay. okay okay you have to okay. look at uh, uh, Muhammad yeah you, you, you yeah, have to yeah. Uh, behavior oh, behavior uh, yeah. so let me ask so you a question what yeah. he said yeah. is yeah 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 when when when, when the Go warrior uh, was concerned that he might kill some women or, chi or children yeah. Yeah. His, uh, children uh, yeah. or child or um, the prophet said yeah, they prophet. are of them so you are meaning meaning the children and the women are Infidels, uh, so minimum. just go ahead and kill them. I'm aware of the hadith. Yeah. I'm aware of the hadith. So, yeah. Yeah, so how, how do I, okay, so, I'm aware of the hadith. Yeah. I'm aware of the hadith. Yeah. And it doesn't, because if you understand that hadith to mean that the Prophet Sallallahu said that he, uh, to, to kill the women and children, he didn't. In fact, let, let me tell you, the hadith actually states when he saw the woman on the battlefield that was dead, and I'll say it in Arabic and then translate it. He says, It wasn't for her to be killed. Yeah, and, yeah, and we know why. Because why Muhammad, was it? Why? he liked to take slaves, sex slaves. So whenever a woman is killed... So, but you just contradicted yeah, you know, yourself. Yeah, no. You contradicted yourself. So no, is she, is she not, a sex slave I or is she not, being killed? Do I'm you not. have to kill them or take them no, as slaves? No. And you, uh, which one you is know it? you're bullshitting. Which one is it? No, which one is it? The, the hadith that I is was it slaves quoting. or killing? Which one is it? Because you said it, I have to both. kill them. 
Of and you it's know, both, huh? you know, oh, it's the, both, the, no. the, the, the no. habit that I was quoting <laughs> and yeah. was making yeah. it illegal to kill uh, uh, women no. and children. No, well, let if, me, if, if you have I'm, to. I'm started, but let mainly, me, okay. the, yeah, the, yeah. the main issue yeah. uh, yeah. for Muhammad is, yeah. was to, to kill the men and no take problem. the women and children as sex slaves. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Since you're an expert in the Quran, not knowing the six pillars of creed, not knowing the Prophet's full name, not being qualified in any university, even in your country, being a jobless man that you are. And let me ask you a question, even though you're all yeah. those things. And let me ask you your expert yeah, yeah, opinion on. as an honest. Just ask questions. You don't have to okay. harass people. Just ask the questions. The Quran states in chapter 60, verse 8. لا ينهاكم الله عن الذين لم يقاتلوكم في الدين ولم يخرجوكم من دياركم أن تبروهم وتقصتوا إليهم إن الله يحب المقصتين. That God does not deny you, does not tell you not to deal justly and kindly with those disbelievers that don't take you out of your home or don't don't try and kill you. That you deal justly with them, deal justly, yeah? yeah, and that you're good with them because God loves the just. Now, this is a verse in the Quran that's not abrogated. How do you explain this verse? Well, looking at the word justly explains everything because oh, yes. what's just in Islam, yeah. that's Sharia. And what's and just in our alayhi. country is um, something more humane. So no, justly, I'm asking, justly no, in Islam. Alayhim. Justly in Islam is something be good with them. different. There's two words here. There's two operative something words. Different. There's two operative words. One word is antabarruhum to be good with them. The other one and to to alayhim and to be just with them. So being good with them and just. How do I be good and just with a disbeliever and kill them at the same time? Can you tell me how? You can uh, you can kill them if you follow, for example, yeah. 532 or 109, okay. 109 okay. verses. Okay. I think that, you don't know what you're talking uh, about. You know that I'm right. You no, know, I know you know you're what, right. You know okay. what facade I, listen, means. I know you what know facade means. And you're yeah. wrong. You're wrong. I'm explaining, to you, I'm explaining to you, you're incorrect about this. You can let, let me ask anyone, you. anyone can Google this word on Wikipedia. You find I don't want to. I think you've wasted Arabic the people's facade. time. I'm going to end with this. Now we've done this. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish with this now because I'm yeah. done with this guy. But now that because I'm done with him, I'm gonna finish with something. You say that you're at war with the Muslims. Re now, the, the way I see it, yeah, the, let me let me say it again. We're in Norway. We respect the law of Norway. Yeah, everyone here respects the law. You're not going to do something illegal. You're not going to get physical. You're not going to shoot somebody. I'm not going to shoot somebody. I'm not going to slap you. You're not going to slap me, because if the former was done, that would be murder. But anyway, that's something else. I'm saying now, you said war. You said war. Now, I understand from that, there's only two ways you can go to war with someone. Intellectually, which you attempted and failed today, and physically. Now, really and truly, physically, you're a 55-year-old man. You're not in any shape to get into physical. But what I will do is say this. How, if you hate Muslims so much, there are many people that will be willing to fight on a legal basis with your people. I am saying today, I am in Norway. There are people that you have in your camp that are my size and my age. Why not we go and fight on a legal basis? If they don't like us so much, let's fight each other. Why let's put no on a legal basis. If you hate us, why not? We who's enjoy. Who, we enjoy. You hate us. Why not? Who brought in this hate? Uh, are you are you a coward? I never. I never brought so, in. So okay, hate. bring some bring somebody to fight us on a legal we basis. We don't need to do that because we know that Islam. So will do, you, do you want to fight or not? Islam will attack us. Bring somebody. No. We'll use I mean, violence. Which one is it? You. I'm still alive. You okay. so are you accepting the are you accepting the challenge? We, we can do it on a legal basis. No, no, legal. No, we can. No, no, no. You go to a place where we can fight, and then you are, you are well aware. Why do you not do this? The Muslims are committing because genocide the thing is, against no, Lush, non Lush, Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Lush, listen to me. You spend all day and all night burning books that we consider, we revere, we consider them holy. The books, the pages are not going to come out and fight you back. I'm saying, instead of engaging with an inanimate object, why don't you engage with something that can fight back? If you want to engage intellectually, we've just done and showed you. But if you want to do it physically, or get your 55 year old, you get me someone my age, we'll go right now. We go to a place right now. So, would you accept this? Hi. Calm down, my friend. Calm down. There's no, no, no need to shout. If you want to fight, we go to a club. We'll fight legally. We'll go now. We'll fight. No problem. But you're not my weight. I'll get you someone your weight. What are you saying? I'm saying that you want to get somebody that we can do a legal contract and we can fight each other, put hands on each other. How about that? Is that what you really wanted? No. It doesn't. I'm just saying if you want to put hands on us, I'm ready. I'm ready to. The, the, the premise. 
you are trying to sell her is that we You're are coward. a problem. The, the, it's You're Islam. a coward, man. Islam is a problem because You're a coward, Islam man. commands you to kill the uh, You're a coward. Nations. So you, can't, you say you want to defend your land, but well, you can't even engage in, non uh, in a legal fight. Are you are no to. match conversationally or physically. <laughs> neither are you, and neither are you, and neither are any one of your team. You are no match conversationally or physically. You're cowards. Next you. time you burn a book, now let me tell you, when you're burning a book, let me just tell you something. Yes. The book won't fight back. But remember that today in Oslo Square, that a Muslim came, defeated you in a debate, convincing you. You're a You're a caveman. Okay, I'm a caveman. I'm lying. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, I'm lying. Okay, no. Anyone no, problem. who Googles, okay, Fasad, can, Fasad, yeah. can tell. Oh, fine, fine. So okay, you're right. Okay, no problem. Uh, now, having said that, after the intellectual decimation, discombobulation, yes, has been done. You've been disheveled, you've been disappointed, you've been discombobulated. You have been intellectually decapitated. Oh. You're done. Yeah? After that's, that is done now, yes, now after that's all been... You, oh, I'm down, sorry, but you are pathetic. You are a liar and you are pathetic. Is that the only because you know. That now, what we now, are telling now, all I'm saying to you is now, we are all I'm saying to you is that I want to finish this deal. Yes, well, why do you, why do you guys, anyone who why looks like do you guys drive around in military vehicles talking we about don't. defense? We and you can't even go to a gym and do a three the, rounds. The Muslim killer you can't even go to the, uh, this guy, the car, brother here. But we'll He'll be back on the streets this guys summer. This guy here with the headphones, he's gonna knock somebody out. This guy here, look how dangerous he looks. Any one of us are the Muslims afraid of any kind of confrontation? Is anyone here? Afraid. We're not afraid, Dahi. Bro, burning a book, burning a book is not a test of your bravery. Do you understand that? No, it doesn't test burning anything. a book is very effective to not show the, not the look of it. Yes. The behavior of oh, Muslims. Okay. You, you, okay. you behave like killer zombies. No, but keep burning. You but have. Let him speak. Let him speak. Yeah. Let, him, let him speak. Oh, he got so angry there, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. You but have this. You're interrupting yeah. all the time. Let him speak. And that's the your caveman habit. You can't help it because uh, you're caveman. trying. You're in, imitating the, um, the the false prophet. I didn't. So when, you, I, when, you, when I graduated behave. from the University of Oxford, I didn't tell me here you go, caveman. What did you graduate from? What? What university did you graduate from? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No. 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 I have told people <laughs> more <laughs> truths oh, about nice. your prophet oh, okay. than you've done. Oh, okay. And I have told yeah, people more matter. truths about your, um, yes. about uh, the Quran than you do. Do you want me to show you? No, that it's not that. relevant. Islam is so easy. Uh, uh, this is something you'll never see in your life. Understand it. Muhammad, you'll never see this in your life. Not you, that other guy. Uh, okay, Muhammad, okay. the caveman, invented Islam as a tool to occupy, invade and occupy the whole planet for Allah's cause. You'll never this get this in your life. In the Quran. What's University of what? Oxford. Oxford. You Where's your one? Gone to your an infidel What's your school what, you is go? not Where'd relevant. You go? I'm a caveman, am I? Yeah, you're a caveman. You behave like a caveman. That's not relevant. I'm taking advantage no, of the West Because relevant. here we can have all kinds of religions, or we can have no religion at all. Who's your prophet? Listen. It doesn't matter. Listen, listen, all due respect. No due respect. I'm saying to you right now. Do you know? I want to thank you. Wait a minute. What did you say? I want to end this on a good note because you know he's sat, he's stood toe to toe with me. You've got you've got to give him some credit. The man is stood toe to toe and he has no qualifications, no background in Islam. He's trying. To, okay, and still okay. I okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. made everyone and you see made your that point. you're yeah. a liar. Yeah, yeah, you made the whole world yeah. see that. You're so fantastic. But I want to thank you for something. You know what? You, do you know what I want to thank this man for? You know we've been using this man as a servant to the Muslim community. Because of him, we have been able to raise. One million dollars. Oh, hey, the right. last time you claimed this, you had raised more and than this, a million. Look at so this camera. can't be true. And now we're going to raise even more. Look yeah. at this man right behind me. Since we've contracted, we've got this guy now. Now you're going to have to donate for the Masjid and the Dawah Center in Norway. Oh, now, as you can see, these guys are trying to move to Bihazi come. They're getting so angry. But we have shown without a shadow of a doubt that they have no intellectual oh, leg to stand on. We've also oh, shown man. that the Muslim community now must take these as opportunities to raise funds. We've already raised for this man here, the fundraiser of the month. Please take a look at him. Everyone give the fundraiser a clap. The fundraiser of the month, one million. Now I tell you what, he's, we're gonna use him again, our mascot, our cheerleader, our cash cow. We're gonna milk you for all you've got. And yes, 
Norge, vi kommer til å vinne dette her, slutt å prate. Yes, ok, for da gjør hun hva hun sa, hun sa donate now. Hun sa donate now, så du klikker på den linken below. Og hun, hva er din navn, darling? Det er ikke noe matter hva din navn er. Det er din navn, darling. Ok, så du går til... Go ahead and donate, and we're going to go for another million. You know why? Because Scandinavia needs it. The Muslim community needs institutions. These people, the more they shout, the more we respond. And we're more respond. <laughs> You're not chanting. <laughs> Muslims are not chanting. <laughs> donate now. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Let's go. We're done with you. Thank you. Goodbye. Let's go. So what you just witnessed there really was a kind of jihad. What did you say? A kind of jihad? Are you an extremist? I knew you were a violent extremist. No, 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 you don't understand what the word jihad means. You see, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us, Jahidu al-mushrikina bi amwalikum wa anfusikum wa al-sinatikum that struggle in the way of Allah with your money, meaning give charity. Wa anfusikum, yes, there is a physical jihad. And the third one, zu wa al-sinatikum, and with your tongues, the Quran says, وَجَاهِدُهُمْ بِهِ جِهَادًا كَبِيرًا Do jihad with it, i.e. the Quran. We struggle with the Quran. We make intellectual arguments based on the Quranic argumentation. Now you can join this kind of jihad, this intellectual jihad. Yes, you can join it. And what is the incentive? Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Saf. يا أيها الذين آمنوا هل أدلكم على تجارة تنجيكم من عذاب أليم تؤمنون بالله ورسوله وتجاهدون في سبيل الله بأموالكم وأنفسكم ذلكم خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون يغفر لكم ذنوبكم ويدخلكم جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار ومساكن طيبة في جنات عدن ذلك الفوز العظيم O oh, you who believe, should I let you know of a trade, of a bargain, of a business that will keep you away from a painful punishment? Allah is telling me, he's telling you, he's asking me, he's asking you this question. Then he tells us, تُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ that you believe in Allah and His Messenger. وَتُجَاهِدُونَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ بِأَمْوَالِكُمْ وَأَنفُسِكُمْ That you do jihad, that you struggle in the way of Allah with your monies, with your monies and with yourselves. ذَلِكُمْ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ That is better for you if you only knew. What will Allah give us? He tells us. In the next verse, يَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ He will erase your sins. He will forgive your sins. وَيُدْخِلْكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارِ That then he will put us into gardens wherein which rivers flow. Can you imagine? وَمَسَاكِنَ طَيِّبَةً And beautiful houses, places of inhabitation فِي جَنَّاتِ عَدْنٍ in the gardens of Eden. And this is the great reward. Is this something you're, you can forego? Is this something you're willing to forego? Do we really believe in these things? Do we really believe in heaven? Do we really believe in hell? Do we really believe in the punishment of Allah? If so, then we cannot afford to let an opportunity like this go. You're one click away potentially one click away on this holy month of fulfilling all of the conditions of this ayah. <laughs> one click away! It won't even take you as long as it would take to put a bread in a toaster and then it pop out. How long? How long? Why procrastinate? Why be lazy? Why be stingy? 
Allah says, whoever eliminates the stinginess from themselves, then they are the ones who are successful. Press the button below now. Do not miss this opportunity. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.